Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Shada Campbell and today we're going to do a bullet journal layout with a Bieber theme. This layout is inspired by the best of Bieber and his little bee friends. So let's get started. Of course, our theme today will include a doodle of Beebert, and it's not about drawing him perfectly. We are gonna do a simplified version, which means just capturing his key features so that it looks like Beebert, but it doesn't stress us out to draw him. So I've got my journal clipped open here because I'm going to create a two-page layout, and I'm starting in pencil, just sort of planning everything out. I've got a circle traced here. I'm also going to lay out the space for a monthly calendar on the right-hand side. I'm gonna create some boxes just simply by using this dot grid on the pages. This one is gonna be for goals. I'm gonna create a little space over here for notes. And the bottom right, I'll leave that blank for my Beebert illustration. All right, let's go over everything in pen so you can really see what I'm doing. I'm going to create a wreath here with that circle that I began with, and that just comes together with adding these pairs of leaves all the way around the circle. There's so many ways to vary that, depending on the size and shape of the leaves. I'm going to go over everything, all these boxes in pen, so we've got our goals and notes just written out in a nice, simple, cursive hand lettering style, and I have my monthly calendar there. Moving over to the right hand side of the page, uh, I've got my whole sort of week at a glance on the left, and then I can have my more tedious bits like the to-do lists over on the right. So I'm writing out all the days of the week here, again, just using a simple cursive, and I'm gonna add a little dotted line coming out from each uh, day of the week. Using these lines and boxes helps everything stay organized, and that helps me stay productive. That's why I love bullet journaling. All right, let's move on and start illustrating Beebert. Beebert is, after all, the inspiration for our entire journal layout here. And I start with these big glasses. They're sort of comically large. They're straight across the top, uh, really simple. And then he's got that big nose coming out from between the glasses. His body is really just an oval. And as I said at the beginning, it's not about drawing exactly the character exactly. We're trying to just capture the most of his features. So if we give him a little tuft of hair, uh, his big nose, his big glasses, then those are the key features that we need to capture in order to make him recognizable. So it's not about drawing him perfectly. It's just about, um, you know, feeling confident enough to draw our favorite fiends and knowing that you don't have to get it exactly right. So he's got this oval body, little wings, funny hair, some very, very simple little feet here. And it's really just about those big glasses and his big nose. And I'm just coloring him in using a gray marker so keeping it quite sophisticated and simple this is sort of a black and white bujo bullet journal style Beebert um, but yeah I'm just coloring him in with my pen and I've got a black marker and a gray marker now moving on I am going to do some flowers after all bees and flowers go together like milk and honey and I am going to draw flowers that are sort of emerging out from behind this goals box and so all of them are sort of cut off but they're very simple shapes just these four petal flowers little spiral roses keeping it simple and beautiful um, you know part of journaling I think is just illustrating things that you're comfortable with so that you can do a beautiful layout each and every week. I'm also gonna use that gray marker to go over some of the other elements on the page so that I can sort of tie the whole thing together. Now moving back over to the right hand side, I'm laying down a piece of black washi tape. This is special paper tape. And then I'm using a white gel pen to add some more botanical illustrations. So just some more simple flowers and leaves to again, tie everything together and continue with our theme of bees and flowers, Beebert after all. And then I am going to take that gray marker and I'm going to illustrate some, or doodle, some very simple little bee illustrations. Um, just little ovals, give them some stripes, some googly eyes and little wings, and they come together pretty simply. And you could draw as many bees as you like. Just doodle away. I'll add some more marker to this page as well. And then I'm gonna finish off the entirety of this layout with just a simple, you're beautiful, be beautiful, and that just is to keep you inspired all week long. 
Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing this bullet journal layout come together. There's nothing you can't use in your journal, including your favorite fiends. And be sure to comment below and let me know, are you a bullet journaler? And if so, which of the fiends will you be using for your weekly layouts?